We talked about the five major um, influences on youth, but we need to talk about some of the things that need to be driven in the work that we're doing. Students are accustomed to being entertained faster than we are to give the information. We talked about that once before. What does that look like? How are you instructing? Is it from the front of the room? The back of the room? The side of the room? Who else is in the room? And from what I understand, a lot of classrooms these days have two people in the room. One being the teacher, maybe someone that is there to make sure that the room and the environment stays in a controlled way. Is that person engaged? Have you allowed that person to be a part of the process? I suggest that two adults in a room, one can't be doing one thing and another not engaged in the overall success of the room. What does that look like? Students are now visual learners. What does this look like in your environment? Now some may have technology beyond others, but what does that mean to be a visual learner? in a particular environment. Does that mean they're looking at me while I'm doing this? Or does that mean I, I am corp incorporating some forms of technology that they're used to now and that they're working with? Visual learners. Now, students are accustomed to having a remote control in their heads and in their hands. So at home, it's in their hand. At school, it's in their head. And believe me, they can turn you off just as fast as they can do a TV at home. Are we considering some of these things? And some of these things may seem negative. Boy, that's all negative stuff. I can't compete with that. I'm not a performer. What does that look like? If you're hardwired to do this, which by the time you get to this particular level, you know that this is a passion of yours, then these are all skills that you can acquire, that you can put in, that you have in your toolbox. And many of you may already have those there. Don't let that creativity get stifled by some of the rules and regulations that go along with the job. Get that creative mind back open, thinking out of the box and figure out ways to make things work. Believe me, administrators, facility personnel get real excited when neat ideas come out and they can see students who are engaged and go along with them. One of the strategies that we use is we use every form of media that we could find. We created DVDs. This was really interesting to me. We created DVDs that had popular current clips on them things that would go along with themes and areas and issues we were having in our school. So we had a lot of cafeteria trash. No one wants to clean up after themselves anymore. I have a theory about that, I won't go into it, but a lot of us don't eat at a dinner table at home anymore, so we're not used to taking our plate to the kitchen, having an opportunity to wash dishes, take your turn, so on and so forth. We eat out a lot. And so for that, many young people, people will leave their trash laying around. So we had that a lot, and this was really a problem in the school. So we would find a video clip that could kind of speak to that. Once a month, or once, actually it was once a week, we allow staff members to show the video clip. We called it our PBIS, Positive Behavior Intervention Support, media moment. The teacher could show the video clip. As an administrator, we supported the discussion that came along with the video clip. So once they had that discussion, and you could have the discussion for 10 minutes, or it was supported that you could have it for the entire class period. Because really it was deemed that no matter what you were talking about that day, if you could be talking about that in a positive manner and it could contribute to the overall success of the school, then we were that much closer to the students being successful all the way around. So imagine now 2,000 students, the entire staff showing this clip first period of the day and having these conversations. What kind of thing that could do in your environment? Eventually the students wanted to start to share clips. They wanted to start to recommend things that they could do to help make the environment better. Because for most of us, the environment only gives us an opportunity to talk with them for a certain amount of time. We really are trying to impact their overall experience. Taking away from what's inside and what they're learning in the particular environment and taking it away to the entire environment that they're working in. We want to make sure that we're doing that. Teaching Pro, we worked with slam poetry. We worked with culture and climate in our school. We did a number of things to make sure that we had those opportunities available, and then we encompassed everyone in the environment. Can't say enough that you have to look at all the adults and all the individuals that are working in an environment to be a part of the solution. We encompassed our campus safety in a way that most people would have thought was very non-traditional. So we have people that were working in the school and they were our safety people. 
Well, one, we went away from calling them security to calling them campus safety. So what's in some words, right? You think of campus safety as opposed to security. Same jobs, same job description, just a different title. And then we had those folks do all of our registration at the beginning of the school year. So how they were now talking with, meeting with, and learning with parents was different than they had been seen before. This had a profound impact on, on us. What I suggest is that you look for those non-traditional ways. You think about those ideas that can come into play, the folks that are pivotal in what you have. Because I'm telling you, resources aren't going to change anytime soon. We're not going to all of a sudden get this infusion of cash that's going to allow us to do all these wonderful things. We have to look at the folks that are in play right now. The folks that have decided that this is a part of their life, a part of their work, and have decided that if they can be in this environment and make a change, then what that would look like. And for many of us, it's not easy to determine how that goes. How do you sustain it? Okay, man, we got this thing in, everybody's all excited, but after a week, the energy kind of dies. Well, it's going to be up to you to decide what the sustaining plan looks like. And it has to be one that is done by whatever calendar year you're working on, how much time you're working with students. And I know for some people, hey, I have students two days and then they're gone. They're coming in and out all the time. These are things to consider. What does it look like for that experience? I hear Derek Jeter say all the time, and I believe it was Joe DiMaggio that may have said it. Derek Jeter says that he gives his all every single day because it may be the first time that a young person sees him play and that person deserves his best. Just think about that, especially in ever-changing environments, transient environments where we have students coming in and out all the time. Are you prepared to give that person your best just in case they may not see you again? or that that's the day that they need it. One of the last things that I'll leave you with is one of the things I used to talk about all the time. I go around school all the time thinking of student engagement, and I'd see students that were disengaged. And I had it all wrong, so I'd ask them, why are you here? Why did you come here? Did you really just come here to disrupt the environment? Did you come here really not to learn anything? Why didn't you stay at home? And it wasn't until I could really embrace the idea of why they really come that we can start to really take a look at things differently. So it reminds me of seeing salmon going upstream. So when salmon go upstream, they jump, and they're jumping in the river. Well, on occasion, I've seen film where they jump and they jump out of the river. They jump out of the stream. And then they're flopping around on the side of the bank. And what they're doing is they're trying to get back in the stream, heading in the right direction. When I started to look at students and say, this is why they come every day. This might be the day where I end up going in the right direction, whatever that looks like. But I definitely can't do it if I don't come. And so if we approach it, that we have those students that just are caught on the side at times, if we approach it that those students want to get back in, when we're looking at student engagement in our classrooms, when we're looking at student engagement in our hallways, trying to figure out things that put those in place, and we're taking the onus and the responsibility to make sure that if they're not learning, it's up to us to make sure that they do, then we'll have a much better opportunity to create that culture, that climate, that sharing environment that allows us all to move forward. Please think about some of these concepts as you're putting together your next level of your planning to go in to work in your environments, whatever that environment looks like, and think of those students as those that want to get back in to that stream and be successful, as they know many, many of them, their friends and peers have done as well. Thank you.